You are now about to begin a great adventure, the journey out of your mind. You will travel far beyond familiar reality into the level of transcendent awareness. You will leave behind you your ego, your beloved personality, which will be returned to you at the end of this voyage. The goal of this trip is ecstasy. To move outside the boundaries of normal perception and consciousness into the far reaches of your nervous system. As you begin this journey, it is important to remember the following basic trusts and beliefs. You must be ready to accept the possibility that there is an infinite range of awarenesses for which we now have no words. That awareness can expand beyond the range of your ego, yourself, your familiar identity, beyond everything you have learned, beyond your notions of space and time, beyond the differences which usually separate people from each other and from the world around them. You must remember that throughout human history, millions have made this voyage. A few, whom we call mystics, saints, or Buddhas, have made this experience endure and have communicated it to their fellow men. You must remember too that the experience is safe. At the very worst, you will end up the same person to enter this experience. All the dangers which you have feared are unnecessary productions of your own mind. Whether you experience heaven or hell, remember that it is your mind which creates them. Avoid grasping the one or fleeing the other. You must maintain faith and trust in the potentiality of your own nervous system and a billion-year-old life process. With your ego left behind you, your brain can't go wrong. Try to keep the memory of a revered teacher or a trusted friend whose name can serve as guide and protection. Trust your divinity. Trust your brain. Trust your traveling companion. Whenever in doubt, turn off your mind. Relax. Float downstream. In order for your consciousness to flow beyond the confines of the normal body ego, 
it is necessary to undo the bonds which turn you to the external world, to dissolve the imprints your neurological camera has been carrying around. In other words, it is necessary to eliminate five major obstacles to a peaceful dying of the ego. Anxiety, desire, anger, doubt, and inertia. Eliminate anxious restlessness. Avoid unnecessary moving and talking. Instead, maintain a calm, relaxed awareness, keeping your body, your feelings, and your intellect still, like a quiet pool of water. Eliminate all selfish wishes or desires. There is no room for wants or needs in the state of ego transcendence. Instead, adopt an attitude of joyous acceptance of anything that might occur, an affirmation of the energy process which will sweep you along. Eliminate any anger or ill will or irritation that you may feel towards anyone because this will prevent letting go and tend to produce a negative experience. Instead, meditate on love and trust towards everyone, especially your traveling companions on this cosmic journey. Eliminate doubt and suspicious skepticism. A negative attitude will hold you back. Instead, meditate with serene confidence on the unimagined potentials of your nervous system and try to make contact with the basic life source that is within you. Finally, eliminate inertia and laziness. Maintain a state of calm alertness, ready at any moment to move your attention from one focus to another, ready to recognize the stages of the experience as you pass in and out of them. There are three main stages in this voyage. The first and most profound is called the experience of the clear light or the void. Here, you merge completely with the basic energy process. There are no thoughts, no images, no hallucinations, no pleasure or fear, no I to experience. The drop of water is merged in the ocean. There is energy, light, flow, the network of process. You are gone.
all boundaries dissolve. The second and longest phase is called the period of hallucination, of gain visions and revelations. Part of your ego has reasserted itself, and a multitude of sounds, images, thoughts, are created and dissipated at fantastic speed. Both heaven and hell, paradise or torture, may be experienced. Both come from you. The third phase is that of re-entry or rebirth, or re-imprinting, where your ego strives to return to the body, to rebuild its familiar, everyday reality.